How's it going to y'all? So I'm gonna start trying to come to y'all more regularly on video here and look towards a little bit of a weekly theme. This is gonna be something that I'll include in my yoga classes as well in studio, but wanna share it with y'all on the internet as well. So this week thinking a lot about a pretty foundational issue and that's clarity. And why clarity is a foundational issue? Well, a number of reasons. One, self-awareness, clarity, these are critical in a leadership role. And from a goal setting perspective, a strategy development perspective, as well as an adaptation perspective. So from a goal setting perspective, clarity on a goal allows us to take intentional action. There's a saying out there, basically to the effect of, no wind is favorable to a sailor without a destination. And fundamentally what that means is, if you're not clear on your goal, there's no type of action that's gonna really have a meaningful impact or it's gonna give you any sort of feedback on, is this helping me make progress? So clarity around what the goal is, crucially important. Also important in terms of clarity is around purpose. Why is that goal important? Motivation is fleeting, purpose is durable. So when you find yourself not wanting to roll out of bed because you're unmotivated, you come back to that purpose and that why but you don't have that why unless there's some clarity around what the goal is and then why asking yourself, is this important? Similarly, from a strategy development, if you're not clear on the goal, we can't get to any type of root cause analysis to understand what's the one thing or the areas where we're gonna be able to make some progress towards that goal. How do we develop a strategy if we don't know where we're heading? The answer is you can't. So again, coming back to clarity, the goal, the why, the how, which is the strategy. And then beyond that, we've got to start looking at agility and adaptation. You know, once you start engaging in action, you know, taking the strategy and putting it into practice, you're going to get feedback and you're going to have to be receptive and tuned into that feedback to understand, are we making progress? What adaptations do we need to make? What changes do we need to make? And when you fight that process of going after clarity, all it means is that you end up spending more time and effort on things that might not be the most impactful way to spend those resources. It means you may not understand how to leverage your strengths and your weaknesses. Leverage your strengths, minimize those weaknesses by delegating, hiring, outsourcing, things like that. But again, if you're not clear on these things, you can't take that impactful action. Uh, that, that really underpins a lot of this, is meaningful, intentional action. What are we doing and why? What is it driving us towards? And so it, at the heart of all of this, behind a good goal, behind a good strategy, and behind every purpose is clarity. Who am I? What do I want? Why do I want it? And how the heck am I gonna get it? What do I need to do? What do I need to acquire, change? habits, routines, systems. All success is an outgrowth from clarity, self-awareness, self-reflection, adaptation, evolution. So that's what's on my mind this week. And we'll be talking about that in class, in studio. I'm sure I'll be talking about it with coaching clients as well. So the theme of this week, clarity. If you'd like some help getting clear on goals, purpose, or clarity on developing or adapting a strategy so that you can reach those goals, join me in class. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday here at Ascent Yoga, or let's set up a time for some one-on-one -on -one coaching. Your first consultation is always free, and I absolutely love helping leaders achieve their goals and make progress towards building the business, the career, the lifestyle that they want to have. And it all starts with clarity. So let's chat. Otherwise, have a great week. Till then, peace.